I could no longer go back home today. I have no choice but to stay in those oh, islands. It. It's a blue starfish. Two crabs na nag-aaway. Ayan. Mga kasangkayan, fellow plant lovers and gardeners, mupay nga aga hayo nga tanan or good morning to all of you. So today is a gardening rest day for me because I am going to do some coastal foraging dito. So we are going to hunt some, uh, what is this, shellfish, may it be clams, crustaceans, mollusk or murexes or anything edible na pwede naming kainin for lunch or dinner mamaya. So, yan yung gagawin ko today since I haven't received any call or updates yet from my office in Manila we are when we are going to resume our field work. Uh, what I am going to do today is actually cross this water over here. Medyo malayo-layo yung tatawirin ko because I wanted to do some coastal foraging over there actually I can already find some or a few here dito kaya nga lang mas gusto ko na doon ako mangunguha because mas madami doon yung mga makukuha na shellfish so I'm going to start crossing this water I'm just going to walk siguro aabutin ito ng uh, it will take me about 15 to 25 minutes to cross this water para matrating yung mga islets na yon from here so kung natatandaan nyo I've been here for multiple times already but the last time na I've been here is it's already I think uh, more than two years so it's been quite long so this is me mga kasangkayan this is wings and uh, as you can see uh, I have just covered myself with something because it's too hot today so to avoid sunburns or anything na ano, sa ating balat we have to protect ourselves so ito actually this is just a t-shirt na ginawa kong cover ng aking mukha and I wear a long sleeve shirt then I have long pants kasi it's really hot today so as you can see mga kasangkayan I am already crossing so I have to keep my mobile phone kasi baka mabasa so mamaya ay update ko kayo sa mga gagawin ko doon sa aking pupuntahan actually dito sa ano na to sa part na to uh, I can already find a few shellfish but I cannot document all of it kasi nga I have to keep my mobile phone doon ko na gagamitin ulit yung aking mobile phone pag nakatawid na ako dito sa ano na to, sa tubig na to. so mga kasangkayan finally we are here I am able to cross safely on yung tubig so actually ayun yung lugar ko and I am already here so malapit tayo I am near the two islets which, which is the Gute Islet and the Ko Islet the one with vegetation and the Binovo Island but I am not going to go up the two islets and the Binovo Island because I am just going to do coastal foraging dito sa, ano, sa coastal area na to so I am going to hunt some food dito sa mga batuhan na to yung malaking green area doon that is, mas, that is my place that is barangay Lalawigan so dito yan the Gute Islet no vegetation Daku Islet with vegetation actually after Daku Islet there's uh, still three islets doon sa likod and the biggest is uh, Dibinobo Island that is a inhabited island so madami yung mga naninirahan doon actually that is a big barangay so that would be all for now mga kasangkayan because I'm going to start uh, uh, looking for uh, what's this shellfish so what I am going to do is I will just basically walk dito sa mga area na to and uh, uh, dito 
tumingin-tingin dito sa dinadaanan ko kung may mga makikita ako na shelby. So, ganun lang. Magpapabalik-balik ako kung, ayan nyo, can you see it? There are two crabs na nag-aaway. Ayan. Ayan. See? Mga kasangkayan, it's not that easy to find some types of uh, shellfish or any edibles dito sa dagat because while other species has uh, or are called as masters of these guys na pwede silang or they have the ability to imitate the color and texture of the surroundings para makapagtago eh, ang iba naman they intentionally bury or hide themselves into the sand as deep as they can so if I am going to ask you if there is a shellfish here maybe you would see na wala that there's nothing here but actually actually there is one edible shellfish in this uh, particular area so ayan o oh. ayan so this is an edible shellfish we call this as mutabuta others call this one as kiray kiray so kanina halos wala kayong makita dyan So mga kasangkayan, I am already heading back home and I have to cross or walk as fast as I can because I don't want to get caught by the high tide because actually this part here where I am uh, crossing can go as deep as 6 feet or even deeper when the high tide comes and I don't want to cross when it's already that deep because it's not safe to cross this part here kasi talagang it's already quite deep pag ganyan na kalalim yung ano yung tubing so tubig yung, yung ano ko this is my catch uh, I'm just going to show you what are this when as soon as I'm home yan yung tubig it's still knee deep so it's very safe to cross Gaya nga nang sabi ko kanina, I don't want to get caught by a high tide. You can see it, it's a blue starfish. High tide and I don't want to get caught by a high tide because I could no longer go back home today. And I have no choice but to stay in those islets and wait for the next low tide so I have to cross as early as now